Hey guys, what's up? I'm Bill Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2015 comedy fantasy horror film Krampus, written and directed by Michael Darity, starring Tony Collette, Adam Scott, um, David Hochner. I think I, I, I can't say his name. I apologize. This movie I had very high hopes for because Michael Darity is the brain behind the 07 cult classic film Trick or Treat. We have been waiting for a Trick or Treat sequel for years. Years. Um, over a decade. We still haven't gotten it. Mike keeps saying he's going to make it. But he hasn't yet. Krampus has a uh, sequel comic from Legendary. Came out in 2015 as well. So the Krampus st story of the movie is this kid accidentally summons Krampus, who's a Eastern European Christmas demon who visits the children who don't believe in Christmas. Something to that extent. And all hell breaks loose. There's these crazy snowmen. There's these crazy gingerbread men. There's this man-eating jack-in-the-box puppet thing. Now, Trick or Treat is an amazing anthology kind of movie that ends where it begins. Awesome. Storytelling is great. So a lot of us had high hopes for this movie. It's a good movie, but Trick or Treat's rated R and Krampus is rated PG-13. And once they announced that it was PG-13, a lot of us were like, oh, oh, this isn't what we wanted. And then we watch it and it's, it's a good movie, but you expected more horror. You expected more gore to it. And the comic, thankfully, has a lot more horror, has a lot more gore to it because it's got like four-ish five-ish different stories to it all throughout different times um, with Krampus experiences but I'm going to talk more about my behind the scenes experience with the film slash Michael Darity so Chris um uh Zephros Zephron Zephros Zac Efron Chris Zephros sorry owns Trick or Treat Studios which is a prop mask making company in California they make Majority of the masks that I own is from Trick or Treat Studios. Amazing, high quality, gorgeous, detailed masks, props. And back in 2015, back in 2015, I had ordered a lollipop that Sam uses in Trick or Treat. And I'm just going to show you. This is a Trick or Treat comic, Days of the Dead. Sam, little pumpkin Halloween spirit, he kills people with his lollipop. And Trick or Treat Studios was making a prop replica, screen accurate replica of the lollipop used in Michael Dougherty's 07 Trick or Treat. I'm so excited. But then there was a problem with the manufacturer in Mexico. And I called just to see like if there was an update. I called customer service just to see if there was an update on when the product was coming back in. So then Chris was actually on the phone, the owner of the company. And he explained to me um, what was going on that the first batch didn't quite meet expectations. Um, there was a problem with the plastic it looked more milky than it did clear and he apologized and he was gonna get the lollipop to me as soon as possible and then we would talk he was like oh are you a big trick-or-treat fan and I was like yeah I am like I cannot wait to own this prop like it's such a great film like your your costumes and your masks of Sam of Samhain is just incredible and he's like oh man thank you so much I appreciate it and um we were talking and he's like all right I'm gonna give you some in info and I was like okay cool and he said that he worked with Michael Dowdy personally for the screen accurate versions of the props of the costumes of the masks and he's like yeah and behind the scenes um for your info for your knowledge only um i've been working with mike to get the masks accurate for krampus but i can't i'm not releasing them until next year because it's going to take a, a while to, to go into production but i promise you they're going to be screen accurate and i was like oh my god dude that's awesome i'm so excited for krampus because it's Michael Dougherty. I'm so excited that Mike actually had a say in what was going on with it. Like, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm so, I was so excited for it. But it was cool hearing all of this from the, the, you know, owner of the company himself. So I made him a mask. I crocheted him a mask um, as a thank you of, like, spending the 40-minute conversation with me when he didn't have to and, like, just being down to earth and, like, a real chill dude. Like, I really appreciated it. And he was so excited about the mask. He was so jazzed. He called me and he's like, dude, thank you so much. You know, if ever you come this way, you have a job, just, you know, remind me. And um, he wanted to try to put the mask into production. But unfortunately, it, because it was crocheted, it wouldn't really work in a mask production sense. So, like, I get it. But still, it was nice 
having that real experience with the owner of this company that I really admire because they make beautiful, beautiful products. So shout out to everyone at Trick or Treat Studios. Shout out to Michael Dougherty, who is directing the new Godzilla film. And I cannot wait for that because the trailers make it look badass. And, and Mike brought in all of these other Godzilla characters. It's, it's going to be sick. Godzilla has been a staple in my family since I was, before I was even born. Godzilla himself has been around since the 1950s. I was obviously born in 90, so I only know of Godzilla for 28 years. Or 29 years, if you count the times that I was in my mother's womb while they watched Godzilla. <laughs> Constantly. So, horror runs in my blood. Runs through these, runs, runs through these veins. Blood. No blood, no fun. So, Krampus. It's a good movie. Great comic. I hope there's more comics. Michael is a great visionary, and he needs to make Trick or Treat 2. He is Michael and Legendary. Legendary Pictures, I'm begging you. Trick or Treat 2, please. We're all begging you. Please. Please. Thank you. Mucho malo, guys.